Panem has spent 20 days stuck at the Sudanese-Egyptian border after fleeing the fighting between the army and the rapid support forces in Khartoum. She thought it would be easy for her and her six children to cross the border into Egypt. The new rules came as a surprise. The consulate said that they would let mothers with only three of their children enter. This is a big problem. How can I go with only three of my children? What about the others? Hanem and many other women are sleeping in one of the mosques in Wadi Halfa, which has been turned into a temporary shelter. We have been forced from our homes only to be humiliated and frustrated. This is the life of Sudanese now. <laughs> we are in a very difficult situation. I will die if I have to endure this for two or three more days. <laughs> I have nothing but this sheet. How do I cook? Where do I eat or drink? How can I take a shower? What should I do, just sit here? Why are the Egyptians doing this to us? I want to know why. Every day, thousands of people gather in front of the Egyptian consulate, hoping to get visas. A scene that reflects the magnitude of the tragedy. Until recently, women, children and the elderly didn't need visas to cross the border. Not anymore. Many Sudanese say that despite meeting all the conditions, their applications are rejected. After a long day at the consulate, Hanum returns with all her papers, hoping she'll have better luck next time. I just came from the consulate without getting a visa. There are many aspects to the suffering here. The temporary accommodation lacks basic facilities and the cost of renting a bed is out of reach for most. No humanitarian agencies are operating in the area and people say they are running out of supplies. Tahir al-Mardi, Al-Jazeera, Wadi Halfa, Sudan.